This is the ultimate corner kick tutorial where I show you how to score from corners every single time. I'll be going through every single type of corner kick, when to use it, how to manipulate your players in the box, and at the very end, I'll be showing you what professional FIFA players do to score from corners every time. So starting with the first type of corner kick, this is the basic old reliable. Every casual FIFA player knows that you just whip the ball into the box, hope you get a head on it, and you score about 20% of the time. If you're a casual FIFA player and want the easiest tutorial possible, just aim for the penalty spot, use as close to full power as possible, and then press down shoot and aim towards the goal. You'll score one out of every five times, so good luck and thanks for watching. And now that all the casuals are gone, for the rest of you sweats who want the complete tutorial, here's the basic corner kick for elite division players. Start by doing an in-swinging corner only. You want the ball to curve towards the goal and not away from it. Now you're going to aim the same way towards the penalty spot, but now press LB or L1. This will make you switch to a different player in the box. So now hold down square or X with as close to full power as possible, but it won't actually take the corner kick. It'll zoom out and let you control that person now. So now you're going to switch to the tallest player in the box. And for me, I like Virgil van Dijk because he's 6'4 and he has some bunnies. I promise he will win headers for you. Now what you're going to do is stand right in front of the defender. Hold down LT, post up in front of him, and get between him and the ball. Now just tap X or square, and it'll actually release the corner. You'll be in the correct position and just win the header. Now the hardest part is actually going to be aiming your header. This is annoying because you could be aimed straight at the goal, and it'll just miss wide for no reason. So when you aim your header, just aim straight towards the goalie. Go straight down the middle. Don't try and put it far post. Don't try and put it top in. Just go straight down the middle, tap B your circle, and hope it goes in. But the next question question is, what if he moves the goalie out to come grab the ball? This is the far post tactic. To start, send somebody short and pass them the ball. Now, you're going to have to be fast here, so pay attention. You want to play the ball as close to the corner of the 18 as possible, and you want to receive the ball just around this area. So call him short, but then pass it right away. And what you're going to pay attention for is watch this player. He's going to make a run far post, and nobody is going to follow him. So now you have to watch this and time this for when he's just about to pass the last defender. Time the cross, and it's going to be a free goal. This works because when you play it short, he will automatically try and run at you with a gap behind him. And then the bonus feature here is if you use somebody with the whip ball in playstyle plus, this makes the cross more accurate, faster, more curved to it, and it'll just make you score more frequently. And now for the people who want to just abuse the broken tactics this year, this is the playstyle plus tactic. If you have Son, Salah, Leao, anybody with the finesse shot plus, you know how overpowered this shot is. Well, good news, you can actually use this on corner kicks too. Why am I even telling you guys this? You're just going to use it against me. So we're going to do the same thing as the previous one. Aim to the corner of the 18, hold down LB or L1, switch to the receiver. Now just hold down the pass button, A or X. When you zoom out, you're going to find whoever has the finesse shot plus trait for you. And for me, that's Al Haber, but for most of you guys, it's probably Huang Min Son. Then pass the ball quickly to him after he makes the run so that a defender can't keep up with you, turn and finesse shot far post. This one breaks controllers. I almost guarantee that you can get a finesse shot off every single time. And with how broken the play styles are this year, you're probably going to score about 80% of the time this way. So get it short, skill move, finesse shot all day long. Just keep on repeating this. And this next type of corner kick abuses another broken tactic. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Play it all the way out to the guy at the top of the box. Ideally, this is going to be somebody with the power shot plus, but realistically, this can work with just about anyone. Play him the ball with an outswinging corner, and right away, usually on his first touch, do a power shot. It takes a bit of practice, but it'll end up glitching over the goalie, and somehow, it's just going to find the back of the net. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why, but you really cannot defend this. And the nice thing about this is that even if you miss, the goalie's just going to deflect it wide or parry it, and you're going to get another corner kick out of this. So do it again. You get another chance at doing the power shot. So you can just keep on doing this on repeat until you end up scoring it. So now if you're tired of the power shots and finesse shots and say, I'm a gentleman and a scholar. I don't mess around with this tomfoolery. I play real football. Show me a genuine corner kick. Well, here you go. You're going to start by playing the ball short and making him commit to you. You have two options here. 
pass or dribble if you choose to dribble then you're gonna have the line and now again you have two options if he guards you then just sweat it for an easy goal and if he decides to guard the sweat instead then you can keep going down the line and once you get to the goalie do a lock croqueta or dribble the goalie and it's another easy goal so now let's rewind all the way back to the corner if he decides to guard you instead of the pass then actually pass it to the original corner kick taker now you have three options my favorite is to look for the far post cross it and you have an easy open man situation second option is just pass it around work it in the box until you have another easy shot and the final option again is if he has the finesse shot just shoot it far post this is called the gentleman because it's just like playing chess no matter what he does if you're prepared you're in control and you can get the outcome that you want you just have to be patient and read what the defender is going to do and choose correctly a or b and before i show you the professional corner kick tactic here are some easy tips to become a better corner kick taker First one, I recommend having players on the field with a whip ball in play style plus. This is for all the times that you need to play across to the far post. The whip ball in is ridiculous. Baca, Hemp, whoever else has it, this thing is a cheat code. The next one is I'd also recommend having somebody with the dead ball plus play style. And not because of how long the actual line is, but because it actually makes the ball have more curve, plays it faster. And overall, it's just gonna be a better corner kick. So using the dead ball plus play style will increase your probability of scoring a lot. And the final tip I have for you guys is to actually just learn one style and master. I showed you like six different types of corners. You'll average around two to three corners every single game. I promise your opponent is not gonna learn your style and secrets and be able to defend it every time. Just pick one that you like, one that you think is gonna be effective, learn it, master it, become an expert in it, and that's how you'll be the most dangerous on your corner kick. And I almost forgot. Yeah, scoring directly off of corner kicks. You knobhead, don't even try this. Don't even think about trying this. I have never been scored on directly from a corner this year. It was broken last year. This FIFA, not worth it. You maybe have a 1% chance of scoring from this. Don't even attempt this. Sorry, I'm sorry to clickbait you guys like that. But here's the next one. Here's the actual professional player corner kick tactic. This one happened in an FC Pro tournament, a professional FIFA tournament. He plays it short, he commits to the man, so he's just gonna end up taking it to the top of the box. He manually sends him on a run behind. And then he double taps A or X, he does the chip pass, and he's through on that. I'm not gonna lie, I tried this for hours, and I'm not good enough to do this. You have to be next level to get this done. But this is genuinely the most effective and best corner kick play I have ever seen. But thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.